Ted Naiman. Bodybuilder strategy, highest lean mass at the lowest fat mass via protein and lifting. Dr. Ted Naiman on the Ted Naiman YouTube channel. See the pedietbook.com. Today we're gonna to talk about why type two diabetics are the opposite of bodybuilders. Well, let's start with bodybuilders. So the goal of every bodybuilder is to have the highest lean mass at the lowest fat mass. That's what every single bodybuilder is doing. That's their entire goal. That's their only goal. Your body has two compartments. You have the lean mass compartment, which is muscle, mostly muscle, also bone and connective tissue. And then you have your fat mass. So bodybuilders want the highest lean mass at the lowest fat mass. That's actually the goal of everyone out there, whether they know it or not. That's your goal. That's my goal. That's the goal of everyone who comes to see me. You actually want the highest amount of muscle at the lowest amount of fat. And that does a lot of things for you. First of all, muscle is awesome metabolically. It's great for disposing glucose. It's great for disposing energy. You have the highest metabolic flexibility if you have a lot of muscle. Metabolic flexibility. Your body can use whatever fuel is available, whether it's carbs or fat, meaning improved body fat burning, sustained energy production, fewer blood sugar spikes, less hunger craving. You also have more strength and strength in muscle equals longevity. And the more muscle you have and the stronger you are, the longer you're going to live. On the other side, having lower fat gives you lower fasting insulin levels and lower insulin levels after you eat. And you're just basically way more insulin sensitive. Insulin sensitivity. Cells that are insulin sensitive are much more efficient at using insulin to process glucose. This helps keep blood sugar levels more stable. It helps prevent many modern chronic diseases. So for ultimate health, you really do want the highest lean mass at the lowest fat mass. Now, the way bodybuilders accomplish this is, first of all, with their diet, they prioritize the hell out of protein. They're going out of their way to eat protein, which partitions into lean mass, and then they're very, very careful with non-protein energy. They're either low fat, low carb, or some combination of both. And so they're partitioning as much of their diet into lean mass as possible, and as little of their diet into fat mass as possible. In his diagram, Dr. Nemin shows prioritizing the hell out of protein foods like whey, fish, poultry, eggs, seafood, beef, steak, leafy greens, processed meats, leads to fat loss. Eating carbs and excess fat like vegetable oils, flour, sugar, milk, peanuts, Whole grains, potatoes, beans, leads to fat gain. They're also doing resistance exercise with the highest intensity they possibly can. High intensity resistance training. Repeating or continuing exercise to the point of momentary muscular failure. This is for strength and muscle growth. This can be weightlifting, sprinting, swimming, or other exercises focusing on shorter time and more intensity. Because they want to send an optimum stimulus to their muscles to grow. They're trying to communicate to their muscles that they need to grow. That's the bodybuilder uh, strategy. It's basically protein and lifting. Pretty easy. Type two diabetics are the opposite of bodybuilders. The goal of bodybuilders, highest lean mass, lowest fat mass. Your body has two compartments. Lean mass, which is mostly muscle, bone, and connective tissue. And you have fat mass. Dr. Naiman says, the goal of everyone is to have the highest lean mass and the lowest fat mass. The highest lean mass at the lowest fat mass means muscle is great at disposing of glucose and disposing of energy, which is carbs and fat. And it gives the highest metabolic flexibility. Metabolic flexibility. Your body can use whatever fuel is available, whether it's carbs or fat, meaning improved body fat burning, sustained energy production, fewer blood sugar spikes, less hunger craving. Dr. Naiman says strength and muscle equals longevity. 
On the other side, having lower fat gives you lower fasting insulin levels and makes you way more insulin sensitive. Insulin sensitivity. Cells that are insulin sensitive are much more efficient at using insulin to process glucose. This helps keep blood sugar levels more stable. It helps prevent many modern chronic diseases. Dr. Naiman says, for ultimate health, you really do want the highest lean mass at the lowest fat mass. Bodybuilders accomplish this by prioritizing protein. It partitions into lean mass. They are very, very careful with non-protein energy. They follow a low fat or low carb diet or a combination of those. And in the vast majority of cases, low carb works best. He says, this partitions as much of the diet into lean mass as possible and as little into fat mass as possible. In his diagram, Dr. Nemin shows, prioritizing the hell out of protein foods like whey, fish, poultry, eggs, seafood, beef, steak, leafy greens, processed meats, leads to fat loss. Eating carbs and excess fat, like vegetable oils, flour, sugar, milk, peanuts, whole grains, potatoes, beans, leads to fat gain. Bodybuilders accomplish this by doing resistance exercise at the highest intensity they can. High intensity resistance training, repeating or continuing exercise to the point of momentary muscular failure. This is for strength and muscle growth. This can be weightlifting, sprinting, swimming, or other exercises focusing on shorter time and more intensity. They try to send the optimum stimulus to muscles to grow. He says, this is the bodybuilder strategy. Protein and lifting, it's that simple. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.